So hey guys, today we're making a Centurion FDK. Well, but mostly what we need for one anyway, so. Well, this is the deck we made last time with uh, Punk, so it's Punk Centurion. And that's cool and all, but can it FDK? No. But can we get Centurion, like, j just to become a one-card FDK engine? Answer? Yeah, undoubtedly, yes. So, how can we accomplish that? That That's the main goal, right? So, first we're going to take out all the unnecessary cards, and we'll max out on our Centurion cards, because the Centurion uh, cards are going to be the focus this time around. So, take out this, Itelli. Oh, these guys are psychics anyways, right? And then, uh, Punk Traps. I think that's every thing yeah okay so from here we also want to uh oh right the extra deck let's fix that up a little bit Lula, don't really need that uh let's get rid of Apollosa. and i think we can just cut ip and we'll be fine second like end this this and this all not mandatory not, not that necessary and we can technically cut us all, but I guess it's, it's probably worth keeping in. So if we want to FTK with Centurion, how can we do so? Well, step one, disregard Garnets. So we don't really care about going over 40, we don't care too much about Garnets. So if that is the case, how can we set this up? So ideally we want to probably set up at least an Omni Negate first if possible. I'm not sure if it's possible or not. So we'll probably look into that later. But I mean, a very basic way would be to just tap Assault Synchron and just make Baron. You know? 8, 2, 10, Baron. Huzzah. But if we wanted to be a little crafty with it, a little, uh, a little bit mean, uh, we want to probably then st start with Romera and Oath. Can we do this with Oath? This will lock us, actually. Unless we can get rid of whatever we summon with Oath. And we'll be locked out of the extra deck, which we'll be needing for uh, any potential FDKs in general. So let, let's say we activate Oath, and then we go Trudea. Then Trudea uh -huh, grabs Primera, Primera summon. And then we can grab, I guess, yeah, we can grab Gargoyle. But we can't put Gargoyle in the Spelling Trap zone. Which is what I would want. Ideally, I would want to get rid of the Trudea at this point and get our Gargoyle here. And then adjust the level to 4. This requires this to be a continuous trap, though. Uh, this one as well. So, how can we go about doing that as a one card? Maybe we can make a uh, Synchro 8. Actually, no, we can't because this locks us into a Centurion. It's not just Synchro locked, it's Centurion locked, which is pretty bad. So, the idea, I guess, is pretty simple then. We never use that effect and we'll always use this one instead. So, we inset the Centurion Swell Trap directly from our deck instead. In which case, it'll always be stand up Centurion. And then we can do like the same combo line. For the most part, right? Uh, let's see, if we have Primera, what do we grab off of Primera? Um, okay. So this grabs Primera. Primera can grab Trudea, and then we can normal summon Trudea. We then put Gargoyle to our Spelling Trap Zone. Uh, they'll require a normal summon, but I am okay with this. So, now that we have this, we move on to the next step. Uh, yeah. We, we can pretty consistently, with one card, I'm pretty sure, make Infer Infernal Flame Banshee, and using the second effect down here does not actually lock you. So, we're fine to make Infernal Flame Banshee. What are we adding uh, off of Infernal F Flame Banshee? Well... Yup. Poplar. Okay. So now that we have Poplar, what, what do we do with Poplar? Okay, so we activate Poplar effect now to special summon itself. Poplar will then um, 
be able to add us a card. In this case, the card we will be wanting is Original Sinful Spoils. Stank Eye. Hmm. Very, very well, right? Very epic. So, Original Sinful Spoils, Snake Eye. We'll be grabbing that. And then... We will have, um... Let's see, on our field we'll have Infernal Flame Banshee. We'll have Poplar. And then we'll probably want to actually make Link Rebo. So... We can Link Rebo... Link off... Poplar, and then Poplar effect, set it in the Spell and Trap Zone, or we could even send the Field Spell technically, but okay. Then we can uh, send Poplar to Special Summon something, so it's just any level 1 fire at this point. We can do whatever our heart desires at this point, so uh, specifically it, it's not even a Pyro, right? It's just any fire level 1 monster. I believe off of original sinful so go check for level one fire and, and then any of these guys wait we can just summon them is there anything like super beneficial i guess we'll grab renaud so idea pretty simple we'll grab renaud special summon snake eye ash to grab us the Renaud. With the original Sinful, we will now have um, on our field Snake Eye Ash, then Karibo, and then we will have uh, Infernal Flame Banshee. So that is one, two, three bodies. And. Then I guess we can, if we want, Snake Eye Ash effect, summon Oak. Oak can then summon Lamberg. And then we have idea of like Promethean Princess. And then I think what we want is probably this. Grab Ferocious Flame Swordsman, probably. So idea at this point is we have this, this, and this so we can go uh link off link rebo and infernal flame banshee doesn't have an effect anymore right this card is banished and you control fire monster special summon this card i don't know if that will come up but whatever so we link off infernal flame banshee link rebo or actually snake eye ash and infernal flame banshee wait we could do that i guess and then make Promethean Princess either way. That, that's something we want to do, right? So it, actually we don't even need to. Okay. So we just we can just make Promethean Princess straight up. And then we can do Promethean Princess to mess around with stuff. We also have the idea of like Ash to send Ash plus uh, the Centurion Field Spell to then uh, summon Flamberge. And then link off Flamberge to bring back, like, uh, Oak Poplar. Oak, of course, can also summon back Poplar if we summon it. That way we wouldn't have to play Flamberge. But either way, now we have the... We, we will always have, like, the ability to make Ferocious Flame Swordsman. And SP Little Knight is just any two effect monsters. So we can just make SP. Well... At this point, you might be wondering, how's this an FTK? Well, now we make a Sold. And we already have added Renaud to our hand. Off of the Snake Eye Ash. And that, that's certainly something. So we can do that. And then Renaud is going to allow us to extend. And honestly, a Sold is just an FTK, so... We can make a soul day here with Centurion in any way, shape, or form. It is now an FTK. It is now le legally an FTK. Okay. I'm not sure how you want to do this exactly, but in like the rest of our extra deck slots and our main deck slots, we can now probably do something dumb with a soul day. And even then, 
Uh, if we actually need some of those slots for stuff, we can just start cutting some of these down. Uh, we don't even need to run like Gadia, I guess, right? So we can just cut a lot of these, and in fact, we can cut the counter trap technically, and uh, phalanx if we don't care about them, right? But uh, yeah, that is now indeed an FTK. How will it be done exactly? Uh, no idea. It's up to you, really. It's just it's all day, right? And if we just were to put in like stuff like Moomir shields, they'll go back into the deck. And we're okay to open like one or two of them if we run like maybe five uh, equip spells. We can run some for extenders and also uh, shuffle them back when we discard them or send them from our hand for whatever. There's also the idea of even like equipping them onto our monsters and then like linking them off or whatever. And then they'll, they'll just go back to the deck anyways. So Th this is a one card combo. It literally th does not matter. So, uh, yeah. That will be an FTK. So, how exactly would you want to FTK with a sold? Uh, not 100% not sure what route you want to go. We could go burn. We could go for win condition. We can start going for looping. A sold day is just kind of insane. So, uh, yeah. I don't really see this being very difficult to do. And the only really bad garnet is if we open like two poplars which would be a little bit miserable except we can methian princess to special summon back the poplar i guess to trigger it and then go through a combo line if we do that it's probably fine honestly and depending on how well it goes we don't even need our normal summon i believe we can do this with our normal summon right uh, going into Banshee without normal summon. Doable. Maybe. So if we just hard open Centurion, I think we... We still can't, right? Not as a one card. Okay. I guess we always require the normal summon, so we could never add, like, Snake Eye Ash to a normal summon. We could still add Renaud, which is probably fine. Right? Actually, Renaud is a, not a Pyro, so... That doesn't work. We can add, I guess, a true Dea for later. That that's about it, huh? But yeah. Since this old day is an FTK, you can consider this a job completed. And I, I don't know. It's just that at this point, we we could just do the same thing with just Snake Eye, probably. All we need to do is essentially to make Ferocious Flame Swordsman and SP Little Knight, and then we can make a Soul Day and then do something degenerate and kinda dumb. There are going to be Garnets involved, of course, and it might not be the best deck, but the fact that you can do it is truly a Yu-Gi-Oh moment. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and uh, if you have any Soul Day lines uh, you guys would like to share that can FTK, I mean, the, the extra deck can be adjusted, so uh, yeah. Main deck can be adjusted as well. But an FTK is an FTK, I suppose. And th this is indeed like 12 different like starters that all lead to FTK. If we're looking at only the Centurion one. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.